This is the book of Philippians, chapter 2, and verse 3. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem the other better than themselves. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Yahweh Shai. Shalom. And I start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakudash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. This is your brother Yerushalayim coming back at you with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakudash. And this video is going to be entitled "Focus on the Brotherhood." You are nothing on your own, all right. And you know, you know this. The inspiration for this video, you know, is um, it's just basically you know, around this time, you know, and and you know, you know, one of the brothers in the camp, you know, brought it up on the, on you know on the chat, all right. You know, and and you know, it's it's an important topic, all right, a very important topic, especially now for this time, and in time now we coming into even in time of Jacob's trouble, all right, where the scriptures say you know. All hell is going to break loose. You're going to see things that you never saw in your life. Alright? And, and through it all, you know, you're going to want support. Alright? We'll be nothing. First of all, we're nothing without the Ahawa Shai. And without this Holy Spirit. We can't, we, we can't do this work without the Holy Spirit. Alright? So we need the Lord. And in the same way, we need the brothers the same way. Alright? Because no man is an island. You know that saying? No man is an island. That, that's true. Alright? You need brothers to exhort if you're going off. You need brothers to edify. You know, you might, might have topics that you don't know better and another brother know better. All right, you're sharpening that sword. All right, you need brothers for comfort. To give you comfort, to comfort you with the words, with the scriptures. All right, because you know who know who knows this this part. You know, um, but the brother who walking alongside you, right? The brothers who going through the same afflictions as you, right? You know, at home, you know, the divisions that the Lord said would come, all right, which are here, all right, you know, trouble with women, all right, trouble at work, all right, the sicknesses and illnesses of the body, all right, economic problems, all right, you know, trying to make ends meet, okay, you know, and all the different stresses that come along, you know, it's a brother, it's the one that's standing beside him, all right, so more than ever, this is a, this is a time to to examine yourself all right examine yourself you know if you you know if you really be that brother all right if you be not support you know to that brother you know it, it, it you know emotionally wise strengthen up the brother all right you know scripturally wise a comfort all right edify exhort as i said earlier all right and even to, even in terms of giving to the brother whether it's going to be a time a talent or your treasure all right, you know, in terms of if you have extra and a brother have, have, you know, do have, you know, hey, give in to him. So now is the time to do what? To examine yourself. But all this takes humility. All right, that's why I read the scripture in Philippians 2 and 3. It says, let nothing be done through strife or vain glory. Because, you know, you, you know, our brothers might be tempted, hey, making videos. All right, all right, again, a certain amount of views, again, a certain amount of likes. All right, brother, people might be talking, hey, at the, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's not about you. Right? It's about Yahweh Shai. It's about feeding his flock. Right? And building up but the, the, the body of Yahweh Shai. Alright, which is the church of the first one, the elect. Right? The tabernacle of King David. So let nothing be done in true strife or vain glory. True vain strife. Strife is a word. Let, let me go into that word strife. Let's go into that word strife. Strife angry or bitter disagreement over fundamental issues right so we're not supposed to have that because we're supposed to be of one mind all right neither vain glory you know don't, don't put yourself up on a pedestal all right we gotta be humble right now it's about exalting your hawa and your hawa shy okay if, if you make it to the end then the lord is one who gonna, who gonna lord lift you up but the scripture says but in lowliness of mind let each esteem the other better than themselves this is what we're supposed to do all right you know and then the scripture goes on to say, look not every man on his own things, 
but also have on the things of others. So if you, you, if the brother is given to you and you need, the only thing you're doing is receiving, and something's wrong, you know, you gotta examine yourself and realize that, hey, something's wrong with what I'm doing. Time to be given, all right? Time to show, that, show back that love, all right? And, and how wish I, and Lord said what? Let this mind be in you, which was also in your wish I. So your mind was in your wish I, because your wish I told him plain, you know, he said, hey, you know, you know, um, love, love the brothers. This is how you know you'll be followers of me. Love the brothers. All right. Love the brothers. Let me, let me, um, let me get that precept here. Let's get John 13 and verse 34. It reads, and read from verse, yeah, let me read from verse 34. It says, a new commandment I give to you, unto you. It says, Yahweh, shall I speak him? All right? That ye love one another as I have loved you. So the Lord loved his, his, um, his disciples. All right? You know, he loved them. Let's go into that word. So you see, it's that word, agapao. Which is agape love, which goes into what? To welcome, be entertain, be fond of love daily. Alright? And this is the commandment of who? Of your Hawa Shai, our Lord. He said, This is a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you. And that you also love one another. By this, by what? By this love, all men know. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples. So this is how we how we just know that we fall in love to Yahweh Shai. And no, no, brother, and come. You know, should one for anything, all right? No brother, Nikam should be su suffering. If any brother who have to give to the other one, and this how we're supposed to go. You know, if any if any brother weak, his strength, you know, if any any faith, you you, su you comfort him, all right? You know, give him maybe some words of wisdom, okay? By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples if you have love one to another. So this is how we be good on. They gonna know that you're a disciple. It's a sign. That you're part of the elect. Alright? This is one of the signs. Okay? It's it's a serious. You know? And this love, this agape love, alright? You know, it's a as it's a commandment, right? But love love also is a doing word. Love is a, a verb, as they say, a doing word. It's it's actions. Alright? Not just saying that you love, I love, I love. Uh, you know, he heard um El Apostle Raka, you know, he said, you know, some brothers suffer what they love, they love, but at the end of the day, you know, where's the actions? You know, they, 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 he said, they, they, those guys, I'm, I, those guys are well, usually turn out to be demons. All right, so true love, true love is given. All right, true love is given. True love, true love is, is um, you know, is, is caring, is showing that it's action, right? It's, it's actually when it works. But when you go to um, a scripture, let me get that scripture. Let's get First Corinthians 13, verse 1. It reads, Do I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity? So you speak in all the Hebrew. But you don't have charity and become as a sounding brass or tinkling symbol, which is what is it's, it's empty. All right, so you just have words. You don't have no works, you have words. All right. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I can move mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. So you can have all these spiritual gifts. The Lord lifts out this list of the spiritual gifts. Right? And we do have any charity, which is causing to what? Causing again. Charity. Let's go into that. Let's go into that. See ya, Gapi. Strong's G26. Agape. Agape. Right, it reads affection, goodwill, love, benevolence. Alright, brotherly love. Alright. If you don't have that, you have nothing. So what were brothers striving for? You know, masteries, you know, show, you know, could preach, you could break down all these scriptures. You have you know all the history. You have you have faith. Right, and if you do have that, well, you have nothing. Because if you do have that, you really do have, you really, you really have no works to back up your faith. Because faith goes by works, right? Let me get, let's get a scripture here. I'll come back to the scripture. Let's get here. 
this is um Booker James 2 and 26 it reads for as the body for for as the body without the spirit is dead all right so faith without works is is dead also all right which is this is this the scripture very spiritual all right body without the spirit is dead as that stone body two to the jakes that go into that too as well and so is faith without works is is dead also faith without works is dead and how you how you show how you show your faith you know is it not by your works all right this is how you show your faith hebrews 11 verse 6 all right it reads but without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to the heavenly Father must believe that he is, right, and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. The Lord said, "You believe in my Father, believe also in me." How wish I said that? So, so if you believe in your wish I, right, you must believe in his words too, all right. So without faith, you can you can't please the Lord. It's impossible to please him, all right. So you must believe in him, and you must you must diligently seek him. How are you seek him by obeying his commandments? The commandment he said to what to what in his commandment he said what what love one another all right so if you, you really in this time you you need to please yahweh Shai if you want to be saved from becoming destruction all right and without faith it's impossible to please him and faith comes from what faith without works is what faith without works is dead all right faith without works is dead okay Yeah, faith without works is dead. You know, this is the, the scriptures, the powerful and their life. Alright? And the Lord, the Lord taught us all these things for a reason, even for those who to be saved, to be saved. Alright? For those who are to be saved, will, will be saved. Okay? And true, and, and that love, that love, it's vitally important the scripture that we have here in Romans 13 and 8 it says what oh no man anything but to love one another All right that's what we owe oh, them and women but you have to owe them love All right and love and we not talking about the two thirds talking about your brethren and right? you love is Israel but we talking about love and your brothers in this faith and your sisters too but mainly your brothers we talking about in this video All right but to love one another for he that loveth another had fulfilled the law which mean what? You don't have sin. Okay? You don't have sin, but that's the first commandment. Love the Lord with all your heart, your soul, and your mind. And, then, and the second one would love your neighbor as yourself. Your neighbor as your Israelite brother and sister in the faith. Right? He had love it, another had fulfilled the law. So you know, hey, what's transgression of the law? Right? Sin. Sin is transgression of the law. Okay? So this is why the Lord, the Lord said these things. The reason why Yahweh Shai went into these things, you know, these things might seem to be soft, you know, but it is vitally important, more important than anything. All right, First Corinthians thirteen and verse one and verse two it says, "And do I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge? And do I have all faith so I can move mountains? And have not charity, I am nothing." All right, so you have all this knowledge, all this understanding. And you want to go to that just goes into it. You only, only want to make videos by yourself, not wanting to go and assemble with the brothers. Because the Lord said, What the Lord said, forsake not the assembly of his people. All right, and I have a, have a video here uh, from Apostle Rakat, it's, it's from the brother um, GMS Exalt the Most High. All right, and let's play this video here just to illustrate. And the blood of another man and the other brothers into the truth, we might end up going there, but um. Uh, we have fellowship one with another, yeah. meaning the, uh, the brotherhood, which the brotherhood is very imperative and important because the brotherhood represents the body of Yahweh Shai. That's why anybody who, who, who uh, brothers that. See, brother, it represents the, what, the body of Yahweh Shai. Alright? But this truth is all about Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the word. Alright? So it's not about you, and that's why I put down. Your pride, putting down your, you know, your self-interest, you know, seek another brother. All right, this is all about that. It's all about building up the brotherhood. That's what edifying means. Edifying, you know, in Spanish, is edificio, which is building. 
Right, building up the brotherhood, building up the tabernacle, building up the body of Yahweh Shai. Sick the assembly. Yes. Because the brotherhood represents the body of Yahweh Shai. That's why anybody who, who, who uh, brothers that forsake the assembly. Guys, I'm talking about, well, look, man, uh, I don't want to do the work by myself. I just want to do the work by myself. The brotherhood is a burden. A guy like that, man, you in darkness, man, bro. Mm, brother, it's not supposed to be a burden. All right? Okay. It says, in the... All right, so forsake not the assembly of my people. Uh, let me get out the scriptures. Um, let's get uh, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25. All right, this is Hebrews 10 and 20. Let's start at 23. All right, let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. Right, without wavering, for he is faithful that promise, so we had to be we had to be faithful too. Right? You know, which means continuing doing your work. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. So we consider one another. The Lord said to consider one another. Right? To provoke unto love and to good work, which means doing to what? Doing videos with the brothers too. Right? Because you know, calling a brother, hitting a brother up and doing video and this we, we had to get more into the spirit of that. You know, and even me myself, you know, had to get more into the spirit of that. Alright? And, and you know, hitting up a brother, going and doing our works, you know, provoking one another. When you go into that wood, you go into that wood, provoke. Strong's G, 3948. Paraxus mas. Paraxus mas. Right? mean an incitement irritation so you irritate one another to good works which means you keep on calling a brother go and do good work you know some brothers might be weak in the spirit you know you, you call a brother and you go and strengthen them up you do a video you know you know and you know that is that usually helps you know your spirit has come over you know a stronger way is important all right unto love so you're provoking unto love and to good works let's see that let's see where that word love unto love agape here you go again all right and this is why we had to be strong in the brotherhood verse 25 it says not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together as the manner of some is but exhorting one another and that's true love you know if a brother going off you're exhorting me pull him up all right exhorting one another and so much to so much more as you see the day approaching as you see this day, dreadful day of the lord approaching just darkness and not light all right you know Scripture says, it says, For if we sin willfully after we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no sacrifice for sins. And what the, what the scripture said um, um, in it's Romans, it's Romans 13 and, and 8, you know, it tells you that, you know, if you, if you, if you love, if you, if you have your love for your brother, then, you know, you, you, you accomplish the law. Right? Right? And sin is the transgression of the law. So that means what? You're no longer sinning. And it's precept upon precept line upon line all right and this goes for all of us for myself as well you know you know this is real it's so real especially now especially now that's the time we're coming into it's not it's not a joke the lord say comfort each other with these words um let's get um first first thessalonians 4 and 18 it says um wherefore comfort one another with these words words are scriptures when they go to first market these 12 and 9 it talks about we have the holy scriptures to comfort us all right you know and the scriptures to comfort what the body of of yahweh shai so forsake not the assembly forsake not the assembly and right, i'm gonna go to the to the brother video and the brothers in the camp brother beloved brother howard all right, this is his channel here, GMS Take Heed Israel. All right, he did a video meditating on time. This is a clip from that video. All right, so I'm gonna play this clip here. All right. Well, brothers, 
psychology close to the brothers in a sense that we're always contacting brothers. Contacting brothers in a sense that we can try brother because a lot of brothers will be lost in their work and stuff. A lot of brothers will be moved because why they will be taking the so-called cure. And, 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 and we know that will be the first phase. Then they come up with the man the beast. So plenty of people will be out of work. So if you know you're working, my God, eyes are fish man here. Yeah. You know if I know you're working and, 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 and uh, my household the same room. I just see what I'm at the house, we'll see where I'm at the house, you know? Or if we come together and say, all right, let's do something together, I have this brother, I'll get this brother, I'll get that brother, that. And it's been, 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 Strengthen back up brother's spirit. Alright? Know that we have one another. Okay? It's just like um it's just like uh if you have a bunch of sticks. If you have one stick you can break it. If you have a number of different sticks, you know it's hard to break. Alright, so the more we band together, it's harder for the enemy to come against us, which we have a, a serious foe in Esau Edom. Devil. Alright? Because why he created it, he created the body to be so. That why we, that why we have it on the side and we don't know how to walk. We don't have a conscience and know that, hey, we don't feel help my brother out. Can, and I'm, and we don't think, and I want to bring out that piece of one time to, you know, think because, as you brother was saying, you know, we not getting, we not just getting money and things just to see about this and we are always focused on our brother going through the same affliction sure. we going through. Right, so they book um, the same of the other brothers going through the same affliction we going through. Alright? And these are two brothers from the camp. This is brother Howard. They see on the screen the other brothers, brother Yakal. Alright? So then you know, you can you know take in, you can take in these brothers, you know, to go to the channels and subscribe. It's a GMS take heed Israel as the brother Howard channel. And brother Yakal channel is your Shai chosen people. Alright? You can go there and subscribe to the brothers, you know, edifying brothers. But and you know, brothers who always doing videos together too, you know, brothers are fishermen too. Alright? And it constantly doing videos together, you know, which is edifying the body and strengthening the body. Alright? You know? A good ex good examples of how to be in this field. You know? So hey, this thing is real. This thing is real. Because when the Lord Himself comes, you know, hey. Let's let me get let me bring another precept here. And get um Let's get the book of um Second Peter Chapter three and verse eleven. Right, it reads it reads seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. Right? Because all which things because the world this earth as we know it is gonna it's gonna melt with fervent heat. Right? In fact, let me read from verse 10, 2 Peter 3 and 10. But the day of the Lord, which is coming, will come as a thief in the night, so it can creep up on you. And you don't want to be caught in that. You don't want to be caught out there. Right? Not obeying you, the commands of your shy. Okay? But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Right? Well, we all know that what that is. The earth. You know, the ICBM nuclear missiles, if you're new to this truth, you know. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. So this world will not pass away. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? So you, what kind of person are you supposed to be? You're supposed to be a person helping out our brother. You're supposed to be a person strengthening our brother. All right, walking with the brother. All right. You know, communicating with the brotherhood. All right. Verse 12 said, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the heavenly father, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt 
with fervent heat. All right? Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth where and dwelleth righteous. Where are you going to be? Where are you going to be in a new heaven and a new earth? You're going to be with your brothers. All right? So seek heavenly things. Verse 14 says, Wherefore, beloved, seeing that you look for such things, be diligent. Yeah, be diligent in loving your brother. Be diligent in having that agape love. Be diligent that you may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. Because trust me, you don't want to be found with spot and be blamed. People haven't blamed in that day. Right? Because you're going to be burnt up. Right? You're going to be burnt up. All right, let's get a precept to illustrate that. This is Matthew chapter 25. Right? We start at verse 32. It said, and before, all right, this is talking about the, um, the wheat and the tears. All right? I'll read from verse 31, Matthew 25 and 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory and before him shall be gathered all nations and he shall separate them one from another as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats okay you don't want to be a goat all right you want to be one of them sheep blameless humble meek all right and he said and he shall set the sheep on his right hand but the goats on the left then shall the king say unto them, on his right hand, which is king, is Yahweh Shai, Come ye blessed of my father, Yahweh Shai talking about himself here, Come ye blessed of my father, and inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me meat. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. So this is both spiritual and, and physical. Spiritually wise, you give, him, give, you give the brothers what? The word. All right, the word of the Lord, which is, which is meat, which is food. All right? You know, manger, manger, that as, as the elder apostle Kabara always goes into the Italian, right? You know, which means to eat. Food is food. Okay? You gave me meat, I was thirsty, you gave me drink, I was a, I was a stranger, and you took me in. So, this is talking about spiritually first and, and physically also. He gave unto the brotherhood. Naked, naked, and he clothed me. I was sick, and he visited me. I was in prison, and he came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee, and hungry, and fed thee, or thirsty, and gave thee drink? Right. Listen carefully now. Matthew 25 and 38. It reads, when, when saw we thee a stranger, and took thee in, or naked, and clothed thee? Or when saw we sick, or in prison, and came unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, which is who the elect men, you know. Alright, the sheep of his flock are men. Start with brothers first and then sisters. Alright. As not as much as you have done it unto the least of my brethren, alright, you have done it unto me. Because it's the body of your shy. The brothers are the body of your shy. Alright? So if it is hey. And for those who don't who didn't do it, now let's read about that now. Alright, verse 41. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and ye gave me no meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me no drink. Just spiritual too, but also physical. I was a stranger, and ye took me not in. Naked, and ye clothed me not. Sick, and in prison, and ye visited me not. When you go to Hebrews 13 and 1, Sorry, to entertain strangers, but hereby some have entertained angels on our way. You don't know, you don't know who your brother is, all right? You don't know any spirit who he is, all right? You know, he could be a great man or old, he could be an angel. You don't know, you know, we don't know that, all right? Um, and he visited me not, verse 44, verse 44 said, Then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we a hungry or thirst, a thirst or a stranger or naked, um. Or sick or in prison and did not minister unto thee. Then then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, in so much as he did it not to one of the least of these, he did it not to me. Alright? In the NLT it says, He answered, he, he will he will answer, I tell you the truth. When you refuse to help the least of these, my brothers and sisters, you were refusing to help me. So you to help your brother. Alright, you used to be there for your brother. Focus on the brotherhood. You know? You're nothing on your own. Okay? And these shall go away into everlasting punishment. 
but the righteous into life eternal. So in everlasting punishment means serious punishment. A great punishment. Right? To the lake of fire and right, that's what we're speaking about. Alright? You know, and, and the scriptures say judgment shall begin at the house of the Lord. So you should be in full fear, you hey, fear the Lord. And let's close it off with our scripture. It's first Peter 4, verse 17. Alright? It reads. It reads, for the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of the Lord. So judgment is going to be living again at the house of the Lord. It's just a reminder for us. A reminder to you, you know, hey, to obey everything our Shai says. You know, make sure you're on the right side. Make sure you're on the right hand side. Make sure you're a lamb, you're a sheep. Alright? 1 Peter 4 and 17. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of the Lord, of the, of, of the power, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. And if it first begin at us, what shall be the end of day that begin not that obey not the gospel of the heavenly Father, right? Because the gospel of the heavenly Father is the good is the, is the um the good news, right? The good news is talking about the kingdom. The kingdom you will share the kingdom with what your brothers, right? We're gonna share with our big brother who's your shy Lord willing, we among the elect, all right? We pray that we be among that number, all right? Okay, it's all about that. It's all about the brotherhood. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Alright, so hey, I hope this is a reminder to the brothers, you know, to focus on the brotherhood, show that love, show that concern, you know, look look not on, on your own business alone, but look onto your brother's business, alright, and, and, you know, and be there for your brethren, alright? Alright, I pray this lesson was edifying, I want to give all praises on and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. Wa abad babal, destruction unto Babylon. Shalom.